Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to share with you 5 animated background ID to do in DaVinci Resolve. Let's check it out! Alright, so I'm going to share with you 5 pre-animated background ID in DaVinci Resolve. We're going to do everything only in the edit page, so it's going to be very easy to follow. We're going to use some fusion generator, we're going to use the contour, the noise gradient and the texture background to create those backgrounds. And to choose my colors properly, we're gonna use colors.co. Basically, it's a color generator that gives you a set of colors that are matching together and working well together. In my opinion, it's a must if you want to design anything with color uh, to make sure that you have something that looks good. So anyway, that's what we're gonna use to select all colors today. And without further ado, let's jump in DaVinci Resolve and get into it. All right, so let's start with the first background. So for that, we're gonna bring the noise gradient in our timeline. We have a couple of options that we can choose. Here we have a couple of presets. We're gonna go with the fourth one for starting and here we're just going to select all colors so i've selected this color palette right now on colors.co so i'm going to go first by copying here these blue colors so here i'm going to select this arrow and then i'm going to click on the color and i'm just going to paste the color that we've just selected it's going to change the overall look to blue and i'm just going to continue the exact same process here by selecting the next color and pasting it on the other one i'm not going to repeat the process for the other uh, background because it's always the same thing you know you're just taking the color code and pasting the color code where you want the color to be applied so here same thing with the last color i'm just going to copy it and pasting it again here on the gradient. So now that we've selected our color, we already have something that looks quite good, but I'm gonna make some modification to really tune it as I want. So for that, we're gonna go over to Control, and here we're gonna bring the detail way down, and then I'm gonna bring the contrast a little bit down, and same with the brightness. And here we go, we have our first background in just a couple of clicks. Now you can extend it uh, as long as you want. And the animation is set to ping pong, so it will automatically just loop. And you have now a looped animated background. All right, now for the second background, I'm gonna bring the contour generator directly in my timeline. I'm gonna extend it a little bit. And here I'm gonna select the preset uh, five. Then I've selected my color palette in color.co. I'm gonna use this color and this color. So I'm just gonna select this first one and apply it. I'm gonna apply this one to the shadows. I'm gonna apply this one for the color. Perfect, now my color has been selected. I'm gonna play around with the shape parameter. Basically, that's what I will recommend you for most of the effects. Just start with a preset that you like and then play around with degree, detail, scale, and movement rate. That's the four parameters that are gonna affect the most your background and that's where you're gonna create your look. So here, first off, I'm just gonna raise a bit the movement rate, which is basically gonna be the movement in my animation. Then we're gonna bring the detail up and I'm gonna bring the scale all the way up and then I'm gonna bring the degree way up also. Now I'm just gonna make a couple of adjustments. I'm gonna bring the scale, I think, a bit down. And yeah, just basically play around with those until I find something that I'm quite happy with. So here the scale was too high actually. So I'm just gonna bring it a way down. And I think about there, I'm quite happy with that. And here we go, we get our second background. I'm quite happy with it. Uh, I think it's quite nice. Uh, usually with a color, you know, no need to have too many colors. If you have too many colors and they are not in sync, it might look a bit half. Anyway, let's move to the third one. All right, third background, we're gonna take the texture background and drag it directly on our timeline. And then we're just gonna extend it a little bit. Now we're just gonna select our color on color.co. So I've selected the three colors. We're just gonna copy and paste them again in DaVinci Resolve. So I'm gonna go over to gradient and here, in my gradient I have only two points so I'm just gonna click in the middle to add a third one and here we're just gonna paste each color all right perfect we have our color applied and now we're gonna go back to control and here we're gonna play with detail contrast brightness and the fit rate so first off I'm gonna raise the fit rate to have some animation and here we're gonna hit discontinuous and invert it and now basically we're gonna bring everything down. So we're gonna bring the detail down a little bit, the contrast down a little bit, and here the brightness down as well. So now I'm pretty happy with the layout and how it looks, but I'm not so happy with the order of the color. So I'm gonna change that by going back here to gradient. And then I want to invert here the pink and the purple. So I'm gonna put the purple in the middle and we're gonna put the pink at the other extremity. Cause I think uh, having the purple here gonna look nice and gonna be a better transition between these blue turquoise, uh, the purple and then the green. All right, I'm pretty happy with the result. I think it looks good. Now let's move on to the fourth background. Now for the fourth background, we're going to bring a noise gradient in our timeline. Now we're just going to extend it like usual. And here I'm going to go select the preset 6 and we're going to 
go in gradient to change the color. I know already what I want. I want something with white, black and red. So I'm just gonna add here a point and I'm gonna add some red color right there. Perfect, I think I'm pretty happy with that. Now we're gonna go back over to control and we're gonna here uh, click on lock X and Y and uh, click off again. And then just gonna bring the X scale and the Y scale. We're just gonna bring the X scale up to uh, the max and then we're gonna bring the Y scale uh, down to zero. Now I'm just gonna put the angle around 45. So it just cross the screen as a diagonal. And here I'm just gonna play with the details uh, and the contrast to just put more white. So here contrast, I'm quite happy with that. And maybe brightness around there. Again, just play around. Usually that will just give you different thing. If you're just a slider for detail, contrast or brightness, it will bring more color, less of a color uh, or different pattern. So that's really those three that kind of create most of your look. Now let's see. It doesn't move so much, so I think I want to bring the cease rates up a little bit so the animation uh, go a bit quicker. And I think I'm quite happy with that, maybe a bit less brightness because there is too much white. So here we go, here is our fourth background. I'm quite happy with that. I think it looks quite nice too. Uh, it's very different for everything we've done so far. It looks sharper uh, and more unite, if that makes sense. So now let's move on to the final background. All right, so let's do the fifth background. We're gonna bring the texture background in the timeline and we're gonna extend it a little bit. Then in the inspector, we're gonna select the fifth preset and we're gonna click on gradient. And here in gradient type, we're gonna switch from linear to cross and we're gonna reduce star X to uh, about that. I think I'm fine with that look. Then we're gonna change our colors. So I've selected those two colors. We're gonna just copy and paste them in DaVinci. Perfect, now that the colors are applied, we're gonna switch to control. And here we're gonna bring the detail to the maximum, the contrast to the maximum, and the brightness to the maximum as well. And we're gonna just double click on C-Trace to have the animation going. So here we go, that's our fifth background. I wanted to share with you in this video, uh, just a couple of tools and give you some ideas on what is possible to do, what kind of look you can achieve, and show you that something that matters a lot is colors. Pick your colors wisely once again. It will help you a lot to get nice design. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.